Hey, it's Ivan here, Trading Composure on social media. I'm a professional trader. I have about 20 years of experience in the market. I've been trading for a living for the past 16 years or so. And on the side, I create content on trading psychology. I find the topic um, inspiring, hyper-relevant, and, mean and meaningful. You're here on this channel watching this video because uh, you want to develop your trading psychology edge. And that's what I'm going to help you do. This is the first lesson in a series of deep, deep trading psychology lessons that I'll be sharing on this channel. And this lesson, this first lesson, um, well, well, I guess I'm, I'm trying to structure my thoughts around, around how to do this. I have, uh, I have notes, I have a mind map on the side that I look at every now and then, but I'm trying to find a good way to begin, uh, because this is more of an introductory lesson. I'm going to talk about why this trading psychology work is important and, and, and what, uh, the future lessons will entail. And, oh, and by the way, I'm not going to edit out any of my errors of speech, of grammar, of reasoning. On this channel, what you see is what you get. Uh, I'm, I'm a real human being, all right? I'm error prone, uh, imperfect, and I want you to see that. I want you to see um, that, I'm, that I'm a human being. I want to stay authentic with you. So coming back to this very first introductory lesson, in this broader series of lessons. Let me say this. Trading is a high performance endeavor, like athleticism, entrepreneurship, or even playing a musical instrument at a high, high level. And in any kind of high performance endeavor, like, like those, uh, a psychology edge, your, your, your mindset, is the, the the mindset you bring to the game is an all too important uh, piece of this of this of the success puzzle psychology is an all too important piece of the success puzzle and so as a result you uh, you, you know you there, there's an enormous amount of of i guess solutions out there offering quick results. You see this all the time. You know, do that and, and you'll achieve this. Buy this and you'll, and you'll, uh, you'll, you, you'll get that. You'll get those results. I mean, in this space, this is all too common. Shortcuts, hacks, quick fixes. These quick solutions, they, they don't work consistently enough to be truly helpful to your bottom line, in my opinion. Because, well, they're quick fixes. They, they're, they're quick external solutions to deep internal issues. To be clear, there are some really good uh, stuff out there, you know, by, by, by some talented and qualified people who know what they're actually talking about. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm not talking about that. What I'm really talking about is the uh, usual surface level trading psychology content that you see out there everywhere. That's what I'm talking about. They're putting a band-aid on, on a deep one and calling it a day, you know? And that's not enough. It's, it's not tackling the core of the issue of, of, of why traders fail in trading, of why the success, the, the, the failure rate is, is so, is so, um, is so high. This sort of cookie cutter approach to trading psychology doesn't work for a lot of people. For a lot of people, that's not enough. 
for a lot of people, uh, what's needed is a fundamental shift in how they think, how they perceive, how they experience the market, let alone the world or life. A fundamental shift. So this is some serious work, some, some paradigm shifting work that I'm prescribing for you and offering. Because, look, most people know what they should do in, in, the, in the market that, that would get them consistent, predictable, reliable success. They know that very well. But they, they can't apply what they know, and that's the problem. They can't do it consistently enough. Even if they have periods of profitable trading, it's usually punctuated by massive drawdowns. I personally know this all too well. I've experienced this. S somewhere down the line, you, you find a way to screw up and you're back to square one. I've been there, been there, done that. So I want to help you get off this emotional merry-go-round once and for all. And, and, and to maintain uh, stability of mind, stability of focus and equanimity and uh, perspective and independent thinking no matter what the market throws your way. That's what I want to help you do. Now, what qualifies me to lead you through this, through such a paradigm shifting work? Well, as many of you know, I myself have struggled a lot in the market. And those struggles, out of all things, led me to a self-discovery um, path, led me on, on, on a self-actualization journey. I've personally studied with a few renowned meditation teachers and spiritual gurus. I've, I've received guidance uh, from them on my path. I've lived uh, the life of a monk for a short while, delving deep into my experience analyzing the state of my knowledge, the nature of my thoughts and emotions and beliefs on a deep, deep experiential level. But that aside, I've also studied philosophy and performance psychology, and I've developed my, my own insights and conclusions. So, so I've personally done that paradigm shifting work myself, and I've changed as a result. Um, um, I've changed as a trader, I've changed as a human being. I say this with a lot of humility. I'm, I'm still a work in progress, and, and I always will be. But I, I think I'm far enough in my own personal journey that I can provide some uh, useful insights and perspective that I'm sure you will, you, you will find, you'll find helpful in your own journey. To develop a trading psychology edge, one that consistently helps you act in your own best interest, that, that works for you as opposed to working against you, you have to work at the deepest level of the mind, at, at the level of your really deep-seated patterns that influence, that, that direct your actions that you express in the market. That's what you have to do. So there's no quick fix. There's no fast solution to this. It requires the right information and guidance. It requires consistent work. All right? 
con consistent work and learning. It requires dedication, it requires patience, it requires interest. You, 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 you must want it, right? Because in doing this profound work on yourself, you will, you, you will be confronted with, with information that's, that's hard to accept. You will uncover things that are uncomfortable about yourself. And you will have to deal with them. Heads on. Consistency in trading. Well, I, I dare say it. It's, it's quite simple in, in theory. If, if you know what to do and, and can do what you know, uh, that's, that's, um, you know, that's it right there. But that's the tricky part as well. It's doing what you know you should do. You have to get your thoughts, your behavior, your actions to align with the way the markets are, to, to affect your results in a positive way. In, in order to create a, this beautiful long-term equity uptrend. And for that, you have to work at the root level of the mind. This is where the impulse to shoot yourself in the foot arises. The root level of the mind. The, the unconscious level of the mind. I want you to imagine this. Imagine the most basic life form out there. A bacteria, an amoeba. Um, one of those two. Um, but picture how they're constantly moving away from things that aren't good for them and, and constantly moving towards things that are good for them, that, that, that keep them alive, like, uh, food or, or light or shelter or whatever. And picture how it's pretty much the same the further up you go on the food chain. It's the same with fishes, it's the same with uh, reptiles, mammals. Life has a correct characteristic to move away from certain stimuli towards others. Because life wants to survive. It's, it's a reflex, it's an impulse, it's, it's instinctual. And this is the root of the problem for us traders. Our minds have a tendency to, to mindlessly gravitate towards uh, what is pleasant and comforting and known and move away from what is uncomfortable and uncertain. This mindless craving and aversion impulse. It, um, it's, uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's the cause of much of our suffering in, in this life. Mindless craving and aversion. In, in fact, this concept is so intuitive and, and simple to grasp that sages in ancient traditions began thinking about that more than 2000 years ago. This cycling between craving and aversion is the very fuel behind most of men's problems. From wars to ecological disasters, broadening inequality, to more simple matters like, like the inability to stick to, to a diet or regular physical activity, the, the tendency to always want to be right, the inability to quit smoking, it all stems from this impulse. We move towards what is pleasant now. We move away from what is unpleasant now. It's a short-term mindset. You could see it as that. I want this now. This impulse starts the moment we're born, perhaps even earlier in the womb. 
And throughout the years, the mind builds habits or habits and patterns over patterns around this very basic impulse of craving and aversion of moving towards what is uh, pleasant and comforting and away from discomfort. And it will continue to do that because that's what, you know, that's what the mind does. That's what it wants. That's what it seeks. It's a basic survival mechanism. There's, there's, there's nothing wrong with it, per se. Again, it's, it's just sur survival. It's a basic survival mechanism that all life forms have. And, uh, they, they all have that in common. Of, of course, as humans, we're so much more evolved than a blob of bacteria, let's say. Uh, I'm, I mean, we've shaped our environment through our understanding of it. And we, we've built technology to lower uncertainty in our lives, uh, to, to, to give us more predictability over, over our future. We've created societies, rules, laws, regulations, and all of that to give us the assurance that we're all moving towards the same, in, in the same direction, towards the same future. We're, we're not just, uh, you know, animals living on instincts alone. We're, we're a higher life form with a higher level of intelligence and, and, and higher level of consciousness. That's great. But in certain areas where we don't have the same kind of, of control and predictability that we do have in, in most areas of our lives, we tend to revert to relying on our basic impulses basic primal impulses and the market is a good example of where that happens of where we're prone to reverting to to reverting back to impulsiveness and of course that is why trading let alone trading for a living is 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 uh, difficult you know it's 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 a tedious activity that only a few people are able to do profitably. What the mind wants in the moment isn't what's best for it in the long run. What the mind wants in the moment isn't what's best for it in the long run. This is very, very important to understand. Because well, the, the, the way the market is designed is that it traps those that buy and sell impulsively based on emotions. The market traps those that buy and sell impulsively based on emotions. And it, and it distributes their money to those that are, that, that operate on a higher level on a higher level of understanding, of perceiving, of thinking, of cognizing. So as a trader, you've got to develop um, a higher level of, 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 um, of being. You, you, you can't rely on mindless impulses and emotions to survive and thrive and, and be successful in this field. Now, I will help you develop that higher level of, of cognizing and functioning. You, I, I will teach you how to relax your mindless uh, clinging and aversion impulses in favor of, a, of a, a more calm, equanimous mind, a mind that lives fully in the present, a mind that is at peace with, with everything, that, 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 that flows with everything, with every circumstances that the market or life throws at it. It's a mind that thrives in an uncertainty. I will help you develop that kind of mind. Here are 
some of the things we'll tackle on this channel. How to think from the market's perspective. We'll spend a considerable amount of time on, on that. Are prices random? Are, are they not random? What's really happening between behind each uptick and downtick, what creates trends. We'll see what positive expectancy systems are and, and what they're designed to do and what they can't do. We'll also look at probabilistic thinking. Very, very important. We'll, we'll see how to develop self-awareness and, and remove emotions from your trading process. We'll discuss uh, mindfulness and meditation. We'll look at what thoughts are and emotions are and, and all of that. We'll discuss money and our relationship with it. We'll see what uncertainty is, uh, what it means. We'll, we'll discuss risk. I'll help you develop a life philosophy that supports you on this challenging but very rewarding journey. What else? Um, I'm, I mean, this is a non-exhaustive list. We'll explore much more than that. Uh, but um, as, um, as, as you can imagine, those lessons are, are uh, you know, they're not what you typically find out there. And they're not the usual trading psychology stuff that you see online. There's even, you could say a, a spiritual component to the work that I'm going to share with you. Well, because that's what's needed to, to induce a paradigm shift. Now, two important points. I will approach these lessons from the perspective that you already have a trading, a, a, a proven edge in the market. Once again, this channel is more about uh, the, the deep mental work that is often poorly addressed or, or even brushed off completely in most trading, psych, tr trading education out there. So, so I hope you can understand that. Though the lessons on uncertainty and positive expectancy systems and risk and, and market structure and all of that will help you build your own, your own system, but I'm not going to give you one my, myself. I, it's, it's a whole give a man a fish, feed him for a day, teach a man how to fish and feed him for a lifetime philosophy that I spouse and, and live by. Second point, um, the lessons on this channel are all about theory and that's great, but, um, you know, theory is important, but you, you got to balance it out with practice. And this is where the Trading Psychology Mastery comes in, Trading Psychology Mastery course. And this is where, you know, you take it to the next level uh, with actual practice. To, to th This is where you, you sear these teachings into your subconscious mind. But I'll have plenty of time to discuss this later. Again, every tr trading error you make in the market, the, r r the resistance you feel when you place and manage your trades and, and are the, their direct results of you losing your stability of mind, your balance of mind. It's because you're o operating from a primal, impulsive mode. For instance, when you don't take your losses where you should, when you don't take your signals, your, your entry signals where, where you should, when you don't let your winning trades run, run as far as they can go, when you revenge trade, when you risk too much on your trades, and so on. Those are mindless reactions that can be stopped 
once and for all. But as said earlier, this work cannot be done at a, on, on a superficial level. It needs to be done by the kind of, the, the, the right kind of knowledge and, and the right kind of guidance and practice. We have to work within the deep com complexities, the deeper complexities that lie very often below conscious awareness. If you've been trying to engineer consistent trading results without much success, the only way to, to experience a different reality is to do that, is to do that work. It's, it's, it's to get the right knowledge and the right guidance and to, to, to look within. Because without knowing from experience what drives your behavior, you'll always remain a slave to forces within yourself that will continue to create your inconsistent trading results. So, so I'm going to help you do that important trading psychology work. I'm going to delve into some deep, deep stuff on this, on this channel in the next couple of lessons. Much deeper than anything you've ever come across on the topic of trading psychology. Most of you, at least. But you will learn a lot from these lessons. If you're, if you're prone to cutting your winners too soon, and letting your losses ride, you will gradually seize this. You will, you will, uh, you will manage your trades better. If losses make you sad, moody, pessimistic, and conversely, if profits give you an adrenaline rush, make you feel elated, irrationally exuberant, you will also gradually seize this. If you tend to trade impulsively, compulsively, entering uh, trades where you shouldn't, risking too much, and so on, this will also be eradicated. You will learn to accept change, and you will cease to expect things from processes you don't control. You will learn to detach yourself from the outcome and to stay laser-focused on the process of trading well. You will develop maturity in how you deal with your emotions. You will embody all these lessons and changes because we will make an operation right on the very core of the issue. We will attack it from many different angles. And at times, the, 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 the lessons, the content might appear a little repetitive, but that isn't a bad thing. Again, we will approach things from many different angles, and I will drill down these concepts into your, into your mind, into your subconscious, into your very being. So try to stay curious and, and open. You can expect a new lesson every, once every two weeks, generally on a Sunday. That's, that's the schedule. But if I feel inspired and to, to, to talk about something, I'll, I'll just pull up the camera and, and press the record button and release something. But the regular schedule um, is once every two weeks.